We're going to tie a CDL or Cocteau Lyon nymph. We begin with a Daiichi 1160 hook. This is in a size 14. The bead we're using is a MFC Christmas red bead at 330 seconds. And the thread is Uni 17 aught in white. Begin by tying in the thread and bringing back down into the bend of the hook. Now I'm going to tie about two or three extra wraps at the bend, mainly to lift the, lift the tail of my fly. What I have here is a bundle of boar's hair. I like this boar's hair. Um, mainly because it's really strong fiber, it's translucent, and it splits, it naturally splits. And so it comes to a really gorgeous taper. It's a bundle of probably about two or three hairs, but you'll see that it has split, so it looks pretty good. I'm going to tie it in and make sure that it, it, I wrap it down onto the top of the hook. Bring my thread back up to the front of the hook, right around the thorax area. Now I'm going to try to build a little bit of a <clears throat> taper from my thorax area down to my tail. I go down about a third, wrap it back up to the front, go down two thirds, bring it back up, and then bring it all the way back down to the back, to the tail section. I'm trying to get a smooth body is what I'm trying to do, which lays a foundation down for my uh, CDL. tie in my CDL, you'll see that it's, it's just the stem portion of the feather. I've stripped off all the barbs off of it, and I've actually colored it uh, black. Now, it's not a complete black because the, the marker doesn't, doesn't lay down evenly, or the CDL doesn't absorb it evenly, which kind of adds to the, the look of the fly. Now, bring my thread back up to the front as I strap down the CDL. I'll bring it back down again. Now taking a little bit of a warm marker, this is a warm number three, add color marker. And the reason I do that is sometimes I miss and I'm not, uh, I don't Palmer my, my Touching wraps are not exactly touching, and so it shows through. So if I put this marker, it won't show through as bad. Now, re to reinforce my marker, I'll take a little bit of super glue, glue and just coat it, and just give it a light, light coat. I hear, I find that it uh, helps any of my body material, especially with quills, 
and helps them last longer. I lock off my thread as I wrap the abdomen section. Now I'm just going to wrap my CDL stem with touching turns up into the thorax area. You just take your time. That CDL stem though is really, really strong. It's amazing how much pressure it'll take. You can see that I'm getting into the latter portions of the, uh, the butt end section of that quill, but it still looks pretty good. And I just need to tie it off. trim off that butt end section and tie it off. With that glue under there, that stem really is protected. It holds up really well. Now I'm going to take a little bit of UV resin you just coat it. I don't want it really heavily coated. I want it so it still shows the uh, segmentation. This is the loon stuff. I like the loon stuff the best, mainly because it's self-leveling. Some of the other newer UV resins are just so thick that you can't get them to, to level out. You have to work with it. What I'm using for a bodkin there is a um, sewing needle, hand sewing needle, and the butt end it has been cut off, so it leaves the, a huge eye of the hook, and that's what I'm using to spread my, my uh, UV resin. It actually carries some of the UV resin in the needle itself, and it gives it a broader area to spread the UV resin with, and it's just mounted into a, a rod.
I hit it with my curing light. And just to make sure, I've got a really bright laser. Now I've got a piece of mottled brown medallion sheeting. This is uh, Stalkup's original medallion sheeting. And this is a mottled brown. You can use mottled brown, model of olive. You can see it split on me. So I'm going to trim that off, the bad portion of it off, and then replace it. What I want that medallion sheeting to be is the width of it is so that it covers the top but also pulls the hair of the legs down a little bit on each side. Now what I have is a clamp, a jean clamp, and what in, I have in there are basically the guard hairs of a hair's hairs mask and squirrel. I'm going to create a dubbing loop or dubbing brush. a little wax on it, on the loop. And trap the hair in the uh, loop. Using the hair, the uh, guard hairs really make it spiky. And I like the additional black into the, uh, with the squirrel. I'm twisting the double loop, dubbing loop to uh, trap, trap the fibers. What I'll do is, as I spin that loop so I can test whether or not it's working, you'll see me right there, I uh, pulled on some of the hairs, and if I can pull the hairs out, I still need to twist some more. And I'll do that a couple times. I'm just making sure my fibers are trapped. See, I, once again, I tried to pull the hair out. I still got some, and so I continue to twist. There, it didn't uh, come out. I'm just going to twist a little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to wrap. As I wrap, I'm going to brush back the fibers, the hair fibers, so I don't trap them up to the front. Now you'll see that I don't take my wraps right there at the junction of where, the, uh, where I tied in the medallion sheeting. What happens is if you do it right there, it, bends them, it takes those fibers there and pushes them up to the front, points them in the forward direction, which is what I don't want. So I start wrapping actually a little bit for, uh, forward of that. Now I'm just using a little moisture on my fingers and brushing back the hair as I wrap. Lock it off and trim that loop. 
Now I'm going to pull my medallion sheeting over the top of it as my wing case. And of course, I'm doing this the Tartar style fly. Where instead of the uh, wing case being on top of the hook, it's actually underneath the hook. Would it work on top? Heck yeah. <laughs> I just like the way this looks. Now, this also works really well. You could do, uh, do it as a jig with a jig hook, but I like something this small. I trim off my medallion sheeting. And tuck it down in there and also color my thread. I've got some errant hair as well as a little bit of the medallion sheeting. Sticking out. This is my marker. I'm just using a black marker in this case. Right here, I'm trying to trap that little errant piece of butt end of the uh, medallion sheet. Trim my thread. See how the extra width of the uh, medallion sheeting pushes the legs down? That's what I'm after. And I'm just taking a marker again and hitting those other threads. I take a bit of uh, UV resin to coat my thorax and to give it a little shiny spot. and then hit it with my laser. And I'm gonna trim a little bit of the hairs from underneath. Just give it a little bit of a flat top or flat bottom. And that's my CDL nymph, Cocteleon nymph, Tartar style. <laughs>